What's up, guys? It's your boy Pete, and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now, if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything houseplant related. If that tickles your fancy, sit back, hit that subscribe button, and enjoy the video. Now, on today's video, you guys, we are doing the second part of my backdrop, which is under the table. I'm currently outside right now. I was trying to get some plants put over out of this here sun and then also get them out of the way so I don't personally kick them. I can't even blame it on the dogs anymore because I tend to do more damage than the actual animals. But um, yeah, and then I also wanted to show you guys the amazing update of my philodendron split fingers. Yeah, she just really has shown out after all the rain and then finally the sun is coming and she is just shooting out crazy growth. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started, you guys. All right, guys, here we go. I wanted to give you an update on my split fingers. Um, an update from the, <laughs> the other update. But let me tell you guys, she has started to grow and show out. I mean, check how big she's gotten. These were the older leaves, as you can see. Got hit pretty hard with the sun, so the little sun bleach knew that was going to happen when it finally decided to come out. But this is one pretty leaf. Look at that. That is really a gorgeous leaf. Um, but she is growing like crazy, putting out new leaves. This is new, of course, and then that one is new, and it's just crazy, guys. But check her out. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the actual wall point of this here video. We've made it down to the second apartment here. Um, Let's go ahead and start with these here. I forgot about these. I'm pretty sure you just seen. <sighs> I'll tell you, so I just threw them up under there. <laughs> um, this here is my cast iron plant, which I'm actually proud of. You guys probably already seen the mother plant, which is housed at my grandmother's house, and she is crazy huge. But I did take some more off of her to grow her out some more, and you guys wouldn't believe how long it took. I guess for her to recoup and get a strong enough root system, whatever the case may be. But she is finally, and I mean finally shooting a new shoot there. But down here, can you see in there? Yeah, a little bit better. Is that? There it is. Those are my two um, jewel orchids. And I can't get those to grow for nothing. But randomly, when I think I told you guys all the rain and stuff came through. It flooded everything, especially my things in terrariums. This one got hit too. But see those bigger leaves? All that crap happened when they got soaked and, I mean, flooded. So I don't, I don't know. I know you're not supposed to overwater these, like, at all. So I'm not sure. So she's been covered in plastic wrap, as you can see. But, yeah, that is strange. All right. Um, right. Let's go ahead and get down. In here, we're going to start on the left side. I think everything down in here is the same. There's a little spider. Can you see him? There's a little spider. All right, so we need to push little spider back in there so little spider is not, you know, messing, messing with me. So, okay. I'll tuck that back. Now, everything in here... I think it's the same. I'm not sure. I'm actually waiting on some of these bigger leaves to definitely die off. But they're taking their merry time, which I'm not mad, but still. Do you need water? Let's check this here, Begonia. Yep, Mr. Begonia needs some water. All right, so let's start over here in this corner. Now, that big one that I just touched was my watermelon colossal. Jurassic Colossal Watermelon Rex Begonia. That's a lot to chew. I know. But these leaves are just undeniably just stunning. Look at that. 
All right, then over here, I'm not sure which kind of begonia that is, but it is a Rex begonia. Um, these two are the ones that you've seen. I did a transfer from soil to spag. And the one that I took all the soil out definitely didn't like it, as you guys definitely may know. And so she is still showing her behind after she lost most, I mean, most, all of, well, most of all of, them, of her foliage. But if you can see down in there, she's definitely growing back. So I'm not too worried, just waiting exactly for those older leaves to come back. I mean, well, actually to fall off. Now, next one we have down here. This one used to sit up on the top up there. That is my, um, oh, I'm trying to move plants from behind me because I go knocking another one over. I'm going to be upset. That one there, that is the crocodile fern. We all know that I'm, I definitely have issues growing ferns. Even the one outside is <laughs> doing better than what I can actually take care of in here so but for the most part i'm glad i kept her alive and she did send out a couple of new shoots which have actually grown into actually i guess leaves you would say but she's down in here and i would say doing fine let's move on to the next one we have the pepperoni pepperomia watermelon you definitely know i found these here on sale and i got a great deal on these and you just cannot beat that that look at that that is actually pretty so um i'm checking the water while i'm in here oh, you're pretty heavy you're fine um let's move on to the next one now this one if you've been following me this one is my my maranta my red maranta all of my marantas you guys <laughs> We're outside, and definitely I told you about the water. But these were actually propagations that I did a long time ago, I think three months ago, maybe. And they're actually doing pretty good, growing pretty slow, but most part pretty good. As I said before, they did get hit pretty hard with that um, rain water, so I definitely have to wait and let it dry out some more. But all in all, she's doing pretty good. Let's move on to the next one. Let's go up here. Um, well, nope, I forgot this here, Begonia. This one is the... I forgot Begonia, okay? Um, but I can tell you that this is one of the hardier Begonias. She is, um, I planted her down in my special mix. And for the most part, she's been sending out new shoots. I could get in here, clean some of that dead foliage out, but I don't. Um, these definitely don't get hit with any insects. But anyway, um, I usually let, whoops, with begonias like that, I definitely don't. But if it's dry, I will let them fall down, and it will actually fertilize the soil, and the plant will use it, per se. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Let's go up here. Now, these here, I put those down and i would say semi-hydro just because i wanted something else grown basically <laughs> and semi-hydro uh oh let's get them done let's turn around this one here is the philodendron brandy when i put it in there she only had two leaves and as you can see um, there you go. as you can see she is growing and i would say just fine but, but let's just say she's okay. She did put out a new leaf and they didn't drop those two leaves. So I would say that she's doing okay. Let me turn her back towards the towards the window there. I was looking for some roots. Oh, there they are right there. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next one. Again, semi-hydro. This one is the Trivial Eye Moonlight. New growth as well, and those are the roots. Put her back. Now, that one probably could grow a lot faster if it was getting more light, like those up here. But she's doing just fine. She's holding her own. And, of course, I have these up here as well. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one. All right. 
Um, you may have seen this one right here. This one here is my temperature device that you probably seen look at the last video. It lets me know exactly what's the inside and outside temperature in here. And since everything is open, um, including the door, it's at 76 now. So, yeah, let's move on. Um, let's start here. This one. This here is my Maranta. Oh crap. My black band Maranta. Make sure. Yep. Alright, I have to take the light off of it because that light, as you can see, does something <laughs> to that their dark foliage. But this one is my black Maranta, you guys. And she is just gorgeous. And of course, I placed them down in here, and they are doing just fine. That there, you should know, but I guess I have to say it again. <laughs> that came from a shipping leaf. I didn't want to bother it. I probably should take it off since it is a dying leaf and not technically dead, and could possibly attract insects. And don't need, definitely don't want nor need that. Um, this is my green Maranta. You should know her from. The terrarium she sat in for years. <laughs> well, at least I say two years, maybe. Look at me. Um, but she, this thing is just, just a phenomenal, you guys. Just phenomenal. Growing, of course. All of these are everything in here. Of course, is in the Costa Farm pot, unless it's something bigger. But it's still in the white pot. But my begonias and things on this side are in darker. Should be black pots. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, everything should be black with those. Anyway, um, yeah, she's growing, spreading, crazy aerial roots. As you can see back there, let's see, can we get, get in here? There you are, crazy aerial roots back there, growing, just loving her. All right, we're going to move on to my two babies here. Now, this one here was in that self-watering container, which I had her growing in sphagnum moss. It's one of the original leaves. <laughs> kind of cool. Um, growing in sphagnum moss, and you guys, she used to sit, like, way under there in the midst of no man's land, where I can't see because of Miss Big um, Brazil up there. So... Anyway, that water, of course, didn't last long and she dried out, which is definitely why you would see a lot, a lot of crispy crispies on the end, which is definitely okay because that's part of growing actual plants. And I'm pretty sure even in nature, <laughs> you would definitely find more damage than what is going on here. But anyway, this is the mother and you definitely can tell by how bigger the leaves were. They were outside. And as I said before, she was drowning swimming in water and what's actually crazy about all of that you don't see any kind of damage until you take the plant out and then you start to nourish try to nourish her back to health which is just crazy but anyway um all in all she is growing I'm trying to check and see do i need to yeah, put a little water on her but um she's growing just fine let's check the bottom here um yep yeah, she's growing. Put some water in her. Let's unfold these leaves back. They took down. Now these are um I have a uh making a video on Calathea. These are different growing habits. They definitely have different growing habits than as you can see the green or even the the variegated one there. These here grow out wide, but that's a whole nother video. You guys definitely will see that sometime sometime after this one but um yeah these are my two girls and they are doing just good maranta silver bands sorry about that guys ran out of storage there but yeah that's a whole nother video um let's move on to the next one we have the maranta the variegated maranta she's definitely been growing um the last crazy leaf i think it was Probably this one because it was curled and very, very wrinkled when I got her from out there in that water. But since then, she's definitely shot out growth. 
which is amazing, amazing, amazing. Check that out. And of course, she has babies shooting up as well. And these here are all propagations as well. Uh, moving on to the last one. Last but not least, I have my big girl here. This is my Maranta, oh, my Calathea Network. Okay, and this is one of her newest leaves. You guys probably been following me. This is one big, big leaf, and I mean big leaf. All of her new leaves that she put out this year were huge, and I mean huge. Everything tall like that. Sorry about that light. Um, these are definitely old growth. They definitely have some um, rust spots on them that have been healed. It's just old, you guys. But, yeah, this is my baby here. And she has been growing, and then she is down in one of these bigger pots that I was telling you about. Kind of like the one that my Skindapsis Moonlight is in. Um, I do also have some more baby ones that are growing like crazy down in there as you can see so this is a pretty thick pretty thick healthy plant just loving it harder too you guys look at that oh can you see that though tell me that don't look good that is one big leaf you know i have big hands look at this let's pull it back i have <laughs> I have some big hands. This is just wonderful. But yeah, um, Calathea Network. Let's get her back down in here. Mm. As you can see, the dogs are barking. But that is it. She has another pan down here. All right, guys, as you just seen, everything down here is almost in number six, great, pristine condition. I'm um, still growing. There are little hiccups, as you've seen, like from the begonia that definitely needs to hurry up and do what she's doing. I'm not going to rush her um, just because, again, I do. I actually do not bother these at all. Like I said before, I am going to make sure they have water on them, but I just make sure they have water. I don't touch them. I don't stop them. I don't do anything, and they are growing pretty pretty good um, for the most part I just make sure I keep um, that their light on and as you can see the Sun is actually coming through it beam straight through the bottom down there so that is why those especially that begonia is turning up that way but for the most part like I said everything is doing pretty good I'm enjoying it and yeah but yeah, guys, that is it here for today's video. Please do me a favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Also, comment down below. Let me know, do you have any of these plants that you have seen that I have placed down there? Again, some of those are common. Some of them definitely are uncommon, and some of them are rare as well. Definitely hard to find. Most definitely hard to find, if, if anything. Um, let me know down in the comment section below. Again, you probably see this <laughs> as rocking. I have my tripod in my hand, and I probably could put it down and do it that way kind of late now but yeah huh. um i have a second channel pete's plant smash up you guys run over and check it out just short films put together um to make a video um all of my equipment lights sprays and things like that will be down in the description box below as well um go and check those out <clears throat> and I honestly yeah that is it i have to clean up this here dirt of course um it's <laughs> yeah um but yeah that is it i will see you guys on the next video Bye. So you, you just had to sit, guys. <laughs> he just make himself known. Look, can't shake. You know, people hate. Say hey, hello, booty. Here's the other one, guys. Hey, 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 everybody. Okay, okay. You, your tail is being destructive. All right, guys, gotta go. That's a wrap, guys. Good job, Pete. See you back here on set tomorrow.